Hello everybody and welcome to a dry Leeds. Yes, it's not raining, so I've taken the opportunity to get outside into the local park, uh, which is right over the road from my office. So a nice, nice quiet place to come. Now, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about today was those letters I've been getting. You remember I told you about in my last blog that I'd had athletes writing to me, uh, telling me about their biggest challenges. And I mentioned that one of them was about swimming. And in particular, the frustration with however hard they try, they don't seem to get any faster. Now, there are some obvious reasons for this. Perhaps they're not swimming hard enough. Perhaps there isn't enough structure in their sessions, so they're not basing it on some sort of critical swim speed type of uh, program. Maybe they need to swim under the eyes of a coach more often so that they get regular feedback on the technical issues in their training and, and get um, the opportunity to change those regularly rather than sort of monthly or quarterly. But perhaps they're actually wasting their time trying to get faster. I mean, to be quite honest, they might make two minutes, three minutes, if that on a standard distance race, maybe five minutes. I remember that my first, I found the other day, my first Ironman back in 1995, my swim time was an hour and five. 20 years later, and I swim 55 minutes, so it's taken me 20 years to make 10 minutes, and believe me, I've consistently swum 10K without so much as a two or three week break for 20 years. So that's 10 minutes. That's 30 seconds a year over an Ironman distance on a, on a one hour race. So what I'm gonna suggest now may in fact lead to me getting some hate mail from you, because I'm gonna suggest that some of you should stop trying to get faster in the pool in the short term. By all means, over the long term, seek to get faster, but I think you'll get better results as a triathlete overall if you aim to become a more efficient swimmer. If you aim to emerge from the water having used less energy and in doing so saving some energy for the bike and the run. And when you do that, you'll be able to race faster on the bike, you'll have more left at the end of the run section, your times will be faster. And that's what's most important. Not how fast you get out of the water, but how fast you reach the finish line. So, as I say, please don't misinterpret this as me saying you shouldn't try to be faster. I think you should have that as a long-term goal, but be aware of how much faster you can actually be and how much time you will need to spend on your swimming to achieve that. And then compare it to using that time to become a faster cyclist or a faster runner and think of the gains you can make there. And with limited time, be smart about how you use your training time and use the easiest methods to be, become a faster overall triathlete. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. Feel free to post your comments, agreeing or disagreeing with me on the um, post below, or even email me if you want to prolong discussion. I'll have another controversial video for you next week, but in the meantime, enjoy your weekend, and let's hope the weather stays a bit drier. Bye for now.